Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for July 27th, 2024. Hope everyone had a great evening, ready for another wild day. Let's take a look at what happened overnight. First off, if we take a look at Asian markets, Asian markets closed mixed and mostly lower. Australia, South Korea, Shanghai were lower. The Nikkei and Hong Kong were just slightly higher on the day. So a little bit of mix and one of the major concerns was the rising oil prices and how that was going to affect things over there in the Asian markets. If we take a look at European markets this morning, however, European markets are green across the board. Remember, they ended up closing mix yesterday. But trying to correct that this morning with the DAX up 0.20%, the FTSE up 0.26%, and the CAC up 0.07%. So a little bit of bullishness going on there. However, if we look at the U.S. futures, right now U.S. futures are showing red across the board but very modest declines. Uh, Diamonds is looking at a 0.08% decline, S&P 500 a 0.05 decline, and a 0.02 on the NASDAQ. Now, of course, this is still very early this morning as I'm recording this video, so a lot could change here today. Let's take a look at what we have going on in that oil sector um, of the market. We had quite a rise yesterday. If we look at XLE, really sharp pop to the upside. Um, we saw oil producers do kind of a spinning top doji up here, not really um, holding on to a lot of energy as the market found a little bit of softness but you can see a little higher low coming in here pushing up so maybe a little bit of bullishness coming into this as those geopolitical tensions continue to be um, uh, well a catalyst for those higher prices but this morning just a little bit of a pullback with oil coming down 54 cents a barrel at 76.88 and Brent crude being down 50 cents at 80.91 a barrel natural gas is continuing its slide ung to the downside this morning by another about three and a half cents this morning so keep an eye on that if we were to take a look at the crypto markets this morning, boy, a little bit of bearishness here again this morning. We've got Bitcoin pulling back $1,135 a coin this morning, red across the board in those cryptos. And you can see if we look at BITO, there's really nothing wrong with this. This nice little upside trend broke through some resistance, a little resting pullback in there probably was due on Bitcoin, so keep an eye on that. And then of course, um, Ether also being down and across the board, we're looking a little bit on the red. If we take a look at um, precious metals here this morning, precious metals are looking a little bit lower with gold this morning, pulling back after a pop and drop yesterday, still closed at a higher, um, a green print but you can see kind of resting pulling back probably is due that as we push up here once again toward those record highs so keep an eye on this a little bit of rest a little bit of consolidation would likely be a healthy thing here in GLD watch that closely silver silver also catching just a little tiny bit of rest here this morning pulling back just ever so slightly we've got copper up just a little bit this morning and I still like this um, chart in FCX pretty decent little pattern here pushing back up any rest consolidation back toward this trend and support I would be looking for an opportunity there in FCX we've got platinum down and palladium just ever so slightly lower here this morning um, on 
uh, palladium, but we see uh, the palladium physical ETF trying to push just a little higher here in the pre-market. So keep an eye on that. We've got a little inverted head and shoulders type pattern going on in here, as you can see. So something worth keeping an eye on and that upside trend with that higher low coming into play. So watch that carefully on Palladium. Let's take a look at our bonds here this morning. Now our bonds are moving up just a little bit here today, which is going to make our TLT <coughs> um, pulling back in stocks like BND pulling back just a little bit here this morning with the two-year bonds up at 3.95%, the 10-year bonds 3.85%, and the 30-year at 4.14%. So we're seeing a little bit of an increase in those bonds, probably maybe just a little bit of worry as we move toward that Thursday GDP number and of course the uncertainty of the core PCE number which will be coming out on Friday in that personal incomes and outlays report. Let's take a look <coughs> um, at um, uh, these charts today and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market. But before we do that, let's settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here today. I very much appreciate it. Remember, when we take a look at these charts, we want to look at them for what they are, not for what we want them to be. We want to be a little bit careful and cautious um, uh, with that bias and really try to focus in on what the charts are showing us. Well, if we take a look, Diamonds made that move. We got a new record high. Yesterday, we printed a new record high print, and then we ended ended up pulling back but holding a new record high right into the close just barely squeezed one out and as you can see leaving behind a bit of a well shooting star type top um, a long-legged doji up there um, so keep an eye on that here this morning possibly a little bit of bearishness right there showing up as you can see <clears throat> Upside trend quite steep. We're very separated away from our 50 day moving average. So a little bit of rest or pullback would not be a major surprise. But if those bears were to find that inspiration today, maybe a push back down in here to catch a little support. And I would see no problem with that. As you can see, we've also got that upside trend. So if we were to hold in here or consolidate, I would see that as a very bullish situation for the diamonds if they they were to fall through that however coming back into this area price support that might make it a bit more on the sketchy side because then we could rally create a lower high and end up uh, moving on lower we'll have to watch that pretty closely in here dropping down below here would certainly raise a little bit of concern um, in the diamond so watch that carefully however if the bulls find inspiration today and every reason to believe they could then uh, we know that we've got nothing but blue sky above we've got a little teeny tiny resistance of that high print yesterday but every reason to believe we could stretch on higher here after those new record highs were set in the diamonds if we take a look at our spy spy had a little bit of a tough day yesterday <clears throat> Big tech was pulling back yesterday, but if you take a look at this pattern, there really is nothing to be majorly concerned about here. Um, we had probably just a little bit too steep a rally in the market, and what we're showing here is that possibility of a little bit of consolidation. Now, I can't tell you if this consolidation is going to resolve itself as bullish or bearish, but a nice little consolidation in here is a healthy thing to see the market do. And if the bulls can find that inspiration here, 
Pushing back up through this resistance today would be the first step. And then we'd start looking for that opportunity to push on through and set new record highs in the SPY. So watch carefully for that possibility. Now, I don't know if we'll do that today. As a matter of fact, I think there's a pretty good chance we could end up with a hurry up and wait day. And the reason I say that is we've got the NVIDIA report that is coming out um, Wednesday afternoon. The NVIDIA report, obviously highly anticipated, considered to be, you know, the, the um, biggest big tech that we have right now with all the AI hype that we see in um, the world today. So keep an eye on that. It could be just kind of a hurry up and wait um, on that data. So looking at the spy if those bulls were to find that inspiration here today pushing back up breaking through that resistance there and then seeing if we can attack the all-time highs of course above that we've got blue sky above if the bears were to find inspiration well there's a little bit of price support right in there if we were to hold that support probably uh, that's just nothing but a very tight consolidation and i would see that as bullish but breaking down below there, we might have a little bit more concern if we come back into this price support. But still, I see that as just a resting pattern here in the market and very needed after such a strong move to the upside. Below that, we would probably start raising a little bit of concern. Maybe even a little fear would come into the market if we were to break those back down and we would start progressing back down toward this big gap in the chart. And of course, if we take a look at our moving averages, that would be coming back to test the 50 day. Now, if we just came back to test that 50 day and notice the short term moving averages have turned back up. We've got a little bit of a moving average squeeze starting to happen right in here. So a pull back into that area. Again, I don't see that as a bearish thing, probably more of a healthy thing for the market to do. If we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ doing a very similar thing here where we're just kind of resting in this range, in that consolidation. We are getting just a little bit more of that pressure as you can see in here. If those bears were to find some inspiration here today, well, we certainly have that possibility we could lose that little um, upside trend, lose that little bit of support in here. By the way, that support, does run back all the way through here. So it's a pretty good support as well. If we were to fall down through there, then we're likely to start testing some of these areas in the chart and maybe even pulling back toward that gap fill in the chart. Keep an eye on that. Now, remember that we're setting right here on the 50 day moving average. We have our short term averages right underneath. So it's possible we could drift on down and maybe test some of those before we bounce back up. But um, again, that might be if we just rest here and consolidate a very positive and very bullish and healthy thing for the market to do. If those bulls can find inspiration here today, well, then I would look for a retest with maybe breaking through some of this resistance right in here, break up, and then we'd be back up here pushing that resistance level in the chart. And you can see that transfers all the way over into here. Breaking through that level, of course, we would probably stretch up and fill this gap in the chart. And beyond that, we would start reaching up to see if we can start breaking out and moving back up toward all time highs in the SPY. I think NVIDIA is going to be the key driver here Wednesday afternoon, whether or not we're going to get bullish or bearish in the QQQ. So kind of keep a close eye on this. I think anything is still possible. And if we look at our Russell IWM, well, our IWM, a nice stretch to the upside yesterday, kind of got the best of it. It seems like we're back into the rotation here out of tech, back into um, 
you know, diamonds and IWM spreading out the market here just a little bit, which would be a good thing instead of being so centric into, into big tech. However, it may be a false move with that NVIDIA report coming up on Wednesday. So if the bulls can continue to find inspiration here today, well, watch right in through here. If we were to draw a line across here, we tested some areas of resistance here in the chart, some of these lower candles, lower side of these candles yesterday. Pushing on through that, we're likely to start coming back up here, testing the highs of that little consolidating move, and maybe even pushing on through to test some of these wicks here in the chart. Now, looking back here, that would be the top side edge of these 2021, 20, 2022 areas in the chart, right across there to test that new resistance to the upside. If the bears were to find inspiration today, pushing back down to test this support in here doesn't look like a big problem at all for the market. If that were to break, well, we could come on back down a little bit lower, maybe halfway into that big white candle, um, see if we could hold in there, maybe a little support in here on that pullback could be due. And then of course, down into here, and then you can see we'd be moving down back toward that level of the chart and that would be a concern for the market looking at this that however would just be kind of a rest or pullback if we were to pull back in here to test or come back toward that 50 day or or allow that 50 day to kind of catch up here in um, the market let's take a look at our vix our vix <clears throat> did have a little bit of an increase yesterday but then by the end of the day as we tried to surge back up it kind of softened so little flat doji candle in here we still do have that potential that we could create a little higher low in here and if you look across over here there is that possibility we've got kind of a flat little um um, upside trend that could happen in here if those bull or excuse me bears were to get going here in the market but right now I don't see a major concern here as a matter of fact what we may be creating is a bit of a head and shoulders top that's certainly a possibility as well so if those bulls can push on through um, here in the market I would look for a retest of some of these support levels down in here in the chart and if the bears were to find that inspiration well breaking through some areas here in the chart and maybe pushing up a little bit more to find that gap in here uh, to push on through up into here we would really start be raising some concerns in the market if we were to rally back up into there and I think anything is possible here in this market we're a very emotional market and um, again I think Nvidia is likely going to set the stage for whether or not we're going to see bullishness or bearishness coming up if we take a look at our um, T2122 our T20s well we had um, interesting day yesterday where we maxed this out as we hit those record highs in the diamonds it seemed like it was kind of a a institutional um, demand that we were going to get a record high um, no matter what and we push this up here to extreme limits in t2122 the pullback that we saw yesterday barely flattened this out i mean barely flattened this out so we're still very extended in our t2122 and if you'll notice in here we we don't go above 100 we can't go above 100 in t2122 because it's a ratio between stocks making new highs and new lows so we are extremely extended right now in our t2122 if the bulls find inspiration well we we don't have very far to move if the bears were to find inspiration well we've got a very big potential move that could occur so keep a close eye on this and i would recommend as we're up here stretching and stretching and stretching be tightening up those stop losses be prepared for that profit taking wave that could begin at any time in the market and unfortunately when we stretch like this the the possibility is that we could move quickly 
to the downside. So make sure you have a plan to protect yourself if that market does decide to shift to the downside. Now it's also possible we could consolidate sideways in the market and just have this slowly relieve some of that pressure here in that upside move. Let's take a look at our T2108. Our T2108, a little bit flat yesterday. We pumped up a little bit and then started to pull back. You can see we've got resistance levels up here in the chart. Now you will want to keep in mind in T2108, this is the percentage of stocks above the 40 day. Um, we're in the low 60s right now, but as we push up, once we start reaching up into these mid 70s, we start running into major resistance problems here in the chart. So we're extremely, um, um, uh, bullish right now. Bulls are still in control, but we might be getting to a point where everyone who's going to be in is in, and then we catch that little bit of sell wave coming into the market. Can't say when that's going to occur. Just be watching for that. And again, raise those stops and protect your capital. Uh, the T2108 or T2107 also showing us that nice bullish control here going on a little bit of an increase yesterday in there um, pushing up but you'll also want to recognize that once we start getting up here toward the mid 60s here in t2107 we're reaching kind of a high point in that possibility that um, if we run into those resistance as we continue to stretch up that we might catch a little bit of relief pullback in the market so still bulls are very much in control pushing near 60 get up here around 65 and you can see we reach some of those topping patterns in t2107 um, if we take a look at our t2101 well we had a little bit of a hook over our breath wasn't as strong yesterday as we had seen recently maybe hooking over just a little bit we had those bears kind of fighting the bull breath in the market we ended up coming in kind of flat and again today might be largely the same thing as we hurry up and wait for those earnings on nvidia so keep a close eye on that let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that you know we need to be taking a look at our economic calendar here for today and um our earnings calendar so looking at our economic calendar here for today you can see we've got a little bit going on here uh, to be paying attention to we're going to have the case shiller house price numbers they are looking for that to decline just slightly to a 0.2 from a 0.3 so keep an eye on that i'm not exactly sure how the market would react to the housing uh, pulling back but keep an eye on that we've got um um, house price index to be paying attention to remember the last time it was 0, 0.0 keep an eye on that if those prices continue up that could be a little bit of a problem for us if we see um, uh, we've got consumer confidence after that and really our most notable for the day they're expecting this to decline a little bit as well in consensus to 100.1 from 100.3 not a major decline um, still very low consumer consumer confidence but we'll have to keep a close eye on that this morning a big miss on that could create a problem whether it be up or down could create some price movement in the market and then of course our richmond fed manufacturing which has been very negative nobody cares about manufacturing anymore as long as big tech and ai are moving but we'll want to keep an eye on that we are continuing to see some pretty big bearishness in um, our manufacturing sector here of the market um, we've got treasury buyback announcement we've got some um, bond announcements we're going to get a two-year um, bond auction and a money supply and then looking forward into wednesday Remember, we're going to be looking at those mortgage applications. Waller is going to be speaking. We've got um, uh, petroleum status, survey of business uncertainty, some bond auctions to pay attention to, and also a Bostic will be speaking. Now, taking a look, um, 
here at our earnings calendar. In our earnings calendar, we do have a bit more of the notables here this morning. We didn't have a whole lot yesterday um, in the report, but let's take a look at those really quick. Um, AMWD I've got on the notable list for this morning. Looks like it's having a little bit of trouble here after earnings this morning. Uh, BNS also pulling back just slightly. HAIN little pop and drop going on there on that one in the pre-market and SCSC um, also just a tiny little bit lower. I'm not sure that's reported here yet today. If we take a look at this afternoon, our notables um, AMBA will be in there. So we've got some semiconductor activity in there to be uh, paying attention to. And that's always noteworthy when um, it seems like and the more we talk about AI, as long as they talk about AI, um, then it's bullish. So keep an eye on AMBI. We also have a box here today, so keep an eye on that. Um, NCNO on that list. We're going to get some retail with um, Nordstrom's reporting. We've got PVH, SMTC, and... Um, Sprint, um, or excuse me, Sentinel is in there, and MDRX will be in there. Whoops, MDRX, let me get the right symbol, will be reporting today. Mm, yeah, not really all that notable though. So let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up, so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, please do me that favor. Click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do that. I do truly, truly appreciate it. And I do try to answer those um, comments and questions in the uh, uh, on the videos. I truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at a few of these stocks. And remember, everyone, these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market. And remember, we are quite extended. Um, that extension could cause us a little bit of issue here eventually, so watch for that potential. Now, that being said, there are a lot of good charts out there, um, and we've been talking about quite a few of them here with that Caterpillar uh, move. There was that price alert on that little pop out of the box pattern. If you guys have not taken or looked at the pop out of the box pattern, taken the class, I would look for that pretty closely here because we might be reaching that market condition where we get a lot more rest in the market rather than the straight up move or the straight down move. We might start getting a lot more of the consolidations and you can see how effective it is. You just wait for um, that consolidation to pop. And when we're looking for that upside move, we're just waiting for that to occur. And you can see Caterpillar looking good. CMI did the same thing, continuing to extend to the upside. I'm watching Disney here, and you can see Disney made that pop, starting to show that bullishness um, in the chart. Things like Spotify, here's where this becomes really useful when you're waiting for a chart. This did pop and provide that bullish move but you're not gonna take a lot of risk on these trades when you get these nice tight consolidations. So watch carefully there. We got Mickey D's, you can see that same pattern here. Nice little popping move. What you wanna be looking for is you wanna be looking for those charts that are in a trend, that's important, or creating a trend with their first high or low for a while and you want to be watching along the trend and near price support levels in the chart then you get these nice stretches and you can see what's happening right here in Mickey D's that next opportunity may be setting up here in the chart so you can literally duplicate that um, alert in here waiting for that next opportunity for that to move on up. And this pattern becomes very prevalent at times in the market. We call I call it a stepper pattern. 
Um, and as you move up here, we're just creating these nice little steps as we potentially move on higher. So keep an eye on those charts. Um, take a look at IBM. IBM, um, nice little pop out of that resistance pushing to the upside and you can see pushing into that resistance high and yesterday tried to poke its head through there. Let's see if it can hold IBM showing that bullishness to the upside. We also have, um, besides NVIDIA, we have CRM that we'll be reporting on Wednesday afternoon. Notice that CRM breaking this downtrend in the chart. I was looking for that move right in here and you can see one of the great things about just waiting for the trade, don't anticipate it for that trade. By placing an alert here, we missed this trade and you don't take the loss by being patient and waiting. So I would really recommend if you've not uh, taken a look at that, then really take a look at that pattern. And I've got plenty of videos on the YouTube channel on that pattern. Also looking over here, you can see we're setting up that same kind of pattern. Unfortunately, we're going to mess this up on an earnings report. So be really careful here on CR CRM. Could be setting up in that area of the chart. Now TAP, TAP has been struggling here. We had quite the volatility, but I want you to notice what's happened here in this chart. What what we've done is we've recovered here in this chart and now we're tightening up that pattern nice and tight here in here so watch for that opportunity that tap could finally pop on through here it might stretch on up toward these next resistance levels in the chart worth paying attention to i think um, take a look at eli lily eli lily nice little resting pattern up against the resistance here now this has that double edge um, situation um, here because we are testing um, all-time highs here in lily that possibility that this could pop through and that's why you don't want to anticipate that move um, because you can see what happened here in the pre-market. We could also have that possibility that this rolls over and um, makes that double top pattern here in the chart. So keep an eye on Eli Lilly could also be setting up. Take a look at stocks like Altria continuing to move to the upside. You guys know I've been talking about this one for a long time time continuing to make money here on um, Altria. You can see Coca-Cola making that move. There's that nice little resting pattern consolidating pop out of the box pattern right there and up she goes. Take a look at Coca-Cola looking very good here overall. Um, Mondelez, whoops. I'll get the right symbol here eventually. Mondelez setting up, as you can see, nice little resting pattern coming out here to trend. Look for that next opportunity for that to poke on through and push on up there on Mondelez. And there are quite a few stocks like that with this little resting consolidation in here. We're kind of waiting for some kind of bullish action to um, inspire those markets higher. And I would look for a lot of these to potentially take off and run on those upside moves. So I've run this video a little bit long. I wanna wish you guys all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Wish you all a productive and profitable day. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Take care everyone.